We are not at Computex. And neither are you, probably. But we can still talk about what's going on over there. Because I know what's going on over there. It's Nettling Daily. Our first story actually has nothing to do with Computex, but it does have something to do with the core apocalypse. Video cards claims to have gotten their hands on a leaked Intel slide that describes core X series processors with not only 12 cores, but 14, 16, and 18 cores as well. Oh, uh, what? We had previously heard about the 12 core i9-7920X, but if this info is true, it will be joined by the 7940X, 60X, and 80XE. Obviously, Take this info with a grain of salt, especially because the packages for these things look kind of gaudy. Pink and purple clashes Intel. Come on. But dang! CPU wars are gonna be hot this summer. Threadripper, best watch its back. All right, on to the Computex news. So far, the most news has come out of the ASUS press conference where they announced and updated a bunch of products. The ZenBook Pro UX550 is thinner than its predecessor with Kaby Lake Core i7s, GTX 1050 Ti, a 4K screen, and a decent number of ports, including HDMI, two USB Type-A, and two USB Type-C. The ZenBook 3 Deluxe wasn't so lucky, featuring only two Type-C ports, but it does have that sick gold trim, so it's worth it. The ZenBook Flip S is apparently the world's thinnest two-in-one convertible laptop at 10.9 millimeters in thickness and weighing under 2.5 pounds. But look, here come the more affordable VivoBooks. The VivoBook S15 goes for $499 with a 15.6 inch screen, aluminum construction, and up to a Core i7 KB Lake CPU. The VivoBook Pro 15, on the other hand, goes for $799 with lots of hardware options available, including Intel Optane memory. I suppose you think Asus stopped with the laptops. Yeah, well, you're wrong. They also announced two all-in-one PCs, the Vivo AIO V241 and the Zen AIO ZN242, essentially refreshes with Kaby Lake, and the Designo MZ27AQ, a 27-inch 1440p monitor with 100% sRGB coverage. But perhaps the strangest item announced was the Blue Cave, a dual-band AC2600 wireless router that has dreams of being a Dyson fan. Apparently, the strange design is actually functional. The motherboard sits on the bottom, while the whole top function as antennas. And it's got Amazon's Alexa Assistant. Just like everything else these days. All right, it's time for... How about I do... Quick bits. Hey, that's a jingle from the history of the entire world guy. And a cool 3D cube thing. I feel like there's so much to unpack there. Thanks, Ampenstein. The rest of you want to submit a Quick Bits clip? Do it. A bit more Computex news, the wraps are coming off X299 motherboards from ASRock, ASUS, Gigabyte, and Biostar. There's even some ITX offerings right off the bat. Very nice. Corsair unveiled a somewhat liquid-resistant mechanical keyboard, the K68, which features either Cherry MX Reds or Blue switches, and LEDs that match the switches. Can you get blue switches with red LEDs? No. That's disgusting. InWin has shown off the 806 Mid Tower and the Gaming Cube A1 Mini ITX case, both featuring wood panels in addition to aluminum and tempered glass. I can only hope this replaces RGB as the big PC trend. Please. You thought display companies were done experimenting with stretchy, bendy screens? You were wrong. Samsung showed off a new prototype, and it is indeed quite stretchy. ARM is launching two new mobile processors, the Cortex A75 and A55, using the new DynamiQ microarchitecture. They're joined by the Mali G72 mobile GPU, which ARM says might even be powerful enough to be used for machine learning. And speaking of machine learning, Google thinks its AlphaGo AI has learned enough and will not be competing against any more professional Go players, seeing as it shut out the world champ 3-0. Sounds like it just scared somebody will take its crown. <laughs> Chicken! Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCX forum post linked in the description. The word professional can mean a lot of things, but basically, it's a fancy term that pretty much means someone who gets paid to do what they do. But it can also mean enthusiast, expert, serious. Serious people need seriously powerful tools to do what they do, and that is where Windows 10 Pro comes in. <laughs> See what I did there? Pros. 
Pro short for professional. Windows 10 Pro has the most comprehensive security with Windows Defender for built-in malware protection, BitLocker for built-in storage drive encryption, and Windows Hello for intelligent password-free logins. For business owners, Windows 10 Pro has enhanced tools like mobile device management, giving you and your employees the ability to access your company's apps, data, and resources on any device, and deferred updates so you can get new Windows features after they've been vetted and approved by other users. And we didn't even talk about the Creators update. For more info and to shop Windows 10 Pro devices, click the i in the corner or the link in the description. All right, that's it for Nailing Daily, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos. Check us out on Twitter over there. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, I'm going to go uh, do my hair, because it's a little messy. You guys might not have noticed. It's a little crazy today, okay? I'm sorry. Oh, man. Oh,